we're beginning to pay a lot more attention to making sure that people get enough omega-3 fish oil in the diet or in supplement form. Omega-3s are oils that are part of the diet and are found in salmon, herring, mackerel, sardines, arctic char, and trout. Most people don't get many of these oily fishes, and consequently, almost all people are deficient in omega-3 fatty acids. These are essential fatty acids that are very important to brain function, nerve conduction, heart function, important in skin and hair, and they really are a, an essential part of bodily function in terms of helping to conduct electrical impulses along nerves. So without these, people have problems with depression, people have problems with electrical abnormalities of the heart, arrhythmias. So it's very important to make sure that everyone gets omega-3s. Now, you can get omega-3s from flaxseed oil, but flaxseed, after the age of 40, is not converted into the appropriate omega-3s. Flaxseed is an 18 carbon omega-3, and it needs to be converted into a 20 and 22 carbon omega-3. And the enzyme that does that really isn't around after the age of 40. So it's not going to be obtainable in people over the age of 40 via flaxseed. Walnuts have some omega-3s, but really not enough, and they're pretty calorie dense. So really, fish are the only source of omega-3s. It's also important to realize that there's a ratio between the omega-3s and the omega sixes. Omega-6s come from vegetable oils, corn oil, soybean oil, that sort of thing. We get plenty of that stuff from just about everything we eat, and we get very little omega-3s. And that throws off communication between cells. We don't have a good ratio. And consequently, we're going to be hearing a lot more about that in the future. And this can lead to cancer risk, etc. So it's important to have a couple of servings of salmon per week, and they should be wild salmon, not farmed salmon, because wild salmon is free of PCBs and dioxin, which are carcinogenic. We can get different kinds of omega-3s from the health food store also, which are purified to satisfy this need of having a PCB and dioxin-free omega-3. We should probably have about a gram a day of omega-3 in supplement form if we're not getting salmon a couple of times per week. It's important for guys to take omega-3s, especially if there's any risk of heart disease. Omega-3s are very important in conduction of electrical impulses through the heart, and it was found in an Italian study where theoretically the guys were taking a significant amount of oily fish in Italy, where people given supplements of omega-3s had a 30% decreased risk of sudden death from heart disease when they were put on omega-3s over a two-year period. So the idea that you can prevent sudden arrhythmias, such as ventricular tachycardia, which causes sudden death, is very relevant to the idea that omega-3s help to increase the likelihood of good electrical conduction through the heart. So at 60 cents a day for purified fish oil, a gram a day of EPA and DHA, the two relevant omega-3s, can go a long way towards keeping people out of trouble from the cardiac standpoint.